All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the uh, Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is uh, February 10th. On the agenda, we are going to discuss about the, um, the outreach program webpage that was suggested by Jean-Marc. We're going to discuss about GSOC, CVCon, SheCode Africa, DevOps World, and Jenkins Online Meetups. Are there anything else that we should add to the agenda? Add, remove. Those topics look good to me. I, I do have some, some additional items on SheCode Africa, so it'll be in that one. Those look good to me. Okay. All right, great. So let's get started on the first item. Um, so Jean-Marc, I will let you take away with this web page. Um, I'm, I'm looking for it there. I, I have it or no, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, when we look at the SIG, the outreach uh, SIG, getting mixed up here uh, and focusing outreach there it is and there is a detailed page with uh, the sub projects don't find it back I, you you could hear, uh, Lisa. Can we come back to that uh, later? I, I will find the page so I can share it. I apologize okay. for 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 this. Okay, no problem. All right. Um, so, the GSOC uh, program application is currently open. So it's it's closing on February twenty first. Um, March 7th is the list of accepted mentoring organization will be published. We, so I have drafted up the um, response to the application. So um, Jean-Marc, do you wanna give us an update on where we are with the pull request for that? Um, where are you? Well, and Alyssa, given that we're, yeah pushing towards the end of John Mark's day, I think I'd be happy to create that pull request for you if if his, because John Mark's had a full day with blog posts and Ooh, whatnot. Uh, if John um, Mark, are you okay if I can sub submit the pull request rather than having you do it for the, the application draft that Alyssa's created? Uh, I think I can, I can still start it. I have, oh, okay, I have great. still one, a good hour to go. Okay, great. All before, right. Uh, which other duties. So yeah. Alyssa, on that, what you've got is you've got the, the, the proposed, hey, here's the, here are our responses to the application questions. Mm -hmm. John Mark will submit the pull request to Jenkins.io so it'll be publicly visible. And then sometime next week, you'll use those responses to submit to the actual Google Summer of Code application. Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. absolutely spot on. Great. Yeah, so I would like to get that done way before the um, the closing of the application process for organizers. So, um, so yes. Yeah. No, I've got and before we submit, I've got to update the the Git Cash project. We've now got three mentors volunteered for it. So Chris Stern and Rishab are both volunteered for it, in addition yes. to me and. We've got some more details, so I'll get that updated, submit a pull request to Jenkins.io so that we've got even more project ideas to show that they've reached the fully vetted stage. Excellent. Um, uh, GSOC. Uh, uh, so we're, we're a little bit low on mentors. A, a, a lot and, low. Mm -hmm. And yes. Um, yeah, I maybe do a summary list of uh, who we have. So I, I send a reminder on the developer list because this is what I feel is the, the biggest pool where uh, we can have people. Um, I think we need to keep, to keep that uh, under scrutiny or, or that we monitor that closely and take corrective actions. Uh, we need to be sure that we have 
at least two, better three mentors per project. So we need to be right. uh, uh, careful for that. So I, I send a message uh, on the developer uh, list. Is there something else I can do? Well, I think we I think we could we could consider another blog post. We could consider um, a, just a tweet from the Jenkins account pointing to your developer list posting, John Mark. Uh -huh. There's no reason we can't tweet from the Jenkins account pointing to opportunities for people to help Jenkins. Okay. We could so also consider a LinkedIn okay. post that that welcomes people to join us for mentoring. If you're interested in a LinkedIn post. Okay. Yeah, and I can uh, I can do the LinkedIn post, Jean Marc. Okay, that that would be good. Uh, and uh, now now I'm a little bit lost. So we do a second blog post. We Which we don't we don't have to do a blog post. That that may be more right. more heavyweight than needed. Just the fact that you sent something to the mailing list is a good thing we could tweet about. The, and right. okay. if, if Alyssa does something on LinkedIn, again, that's a great way to refresh people. Hey, we're still looking for mentors and for project ideas. Okay. And uh, I suggest yeah, a, tweet, uh, a tweet and suggest it on the outreach Gitter channel. Correct. Or right. a review or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, and and that's... now given how long the URLs to are to, um, to Google to Google messages, to group messages, you may have to use a shortened URL. Uh, try it without it first. Be sure that you keep it underneath the, the Twitter upper limit of 320 characters. The tweet can't be more than 320 or it'll they'll truncate it. And I think Twitter has its own uh, link. Used and and, and link. they may, and, and that, that may be that I don't have to worry about it at all then, yeah. Okay, here, yeah. I'll, I'll do that, but I'll do um, Alyssa's pull request first. Yeah, and if I can help with the tweet, just holler Jean-Marc, I'd be happy to do it. Okay, but um, eventually, can you start with with the tweet? And Well, you start with the LinkedIn and eventually mm -hmm. the, the, the tweet so that I get the, the submission pull request wrapped up for, yeah. uh, for today. And, yeah. And for the tweet, we can we can work together. Okay. LinkedIn yeah. is a, a beast. No problem. Um, I also reached out to Wadak and because I was going through the blog section on Jenkins.io yesterday, and um, I think maybe Wadak might be interested in doing some kind of membership or uh, mentorship. Uh, for the security that he did something similar to what he did with his four students that he had done previously. So uh, I'm sure he sent me a message, but I haven't gone through it. Um, and I also reached out to Arnaud because I went back as far as 2016 um, mm -hmm. to look at students and, and mentors then and reached out to them. So keeping fingers crossed, we'll, I'll just keep chugging away at reaching out to uh, mentors. I'll update the notes after Mark. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm much better doing it offline. I can't do it online. I, so, I have the same problem. So as, as long as you don't mind the rest of us typing, I'm great with you doing any updates later. It just okay. for me, I if I can type silently while while you're talking, I'll I'll do it. Is that okay? Oh, that's, that's perfectly I, okay. fine. Not at all. But I just can't type and talk at the same time. Right. It comes out weird. All right. So uh, can moving... we come back to the the first one before switching yes. to CDCon? Can you open the link? I didn't realize you had the link there. I was finding. Uh, so it. this was the one that I got out of, of the the Gitter Gitter discussion. Do I have this correct? Yeah. Though? Yeah. Yes, that's the one. So okay. I just wanted quickly to to check in the activities that we do. Is this still up to date? So, for instance, outreachy is that something that we still do? We, we did it in 2020, we considered it, uh, it and Community Bridge, we, we considered them both, 
we don't have adequate mentors to do anything with them this year. So if, you're, if your goal was to keep this to things we're working on in 2022, then I would right. drop out. Re- I, we could at least move outreach and community bridge to the bottom of the list. We I, just I, don't have capacity to run them. Likewise for Google season of docs. Right. Okay. So um, just checking that I move them to, uh, I'll find a wording for, for that. Google yeah, you might of- you might create a, a, a big heading here at the bottom which says previous outreach efforts, right. previous outreach because Google Summer of Code should be on this page I would think as well at least a link to Google yeah. Summer of Code in this page because it certainly is one of our outreach efforts. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of but we we definitely there. won't. I don't plan to do anything with Google Season of Docs. They just opened for for uh, proposals, but. I just don't feel like we've got the capacity to mentor a season of docs contributor this year. Right. Okay, but this answers my question and I'll, I propose a, an update on that page. Like when, when I walk through pages and I see things that are outdated. All right. So maybe we can just put like a year and our participation in, in these um, sub programs. Um, so it's just a thought. So, like, what? So, you mentioned the outreachy that was back in what year? I month? think we did that in 2019 or 2020, I forget which, but outreachy is a, a program that attempts to reach uh, underserved communities with funded development. And, and so, we I think we funded two or three thousand dollars for a three month project, and it, it had a nice outcome. It was our first use of Outreachy as a program. They're a, they're a different group. The Community Bridge, the two, st- two, two items below it is a Linux Foundation group. And because we're, we're a CDF project, the Linux Foundation is a little easier for us to interact with than, than a group like Outreachy. Right. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll make a first proposal uh... To, to to reorganize that and to make it clear what what we're working on, what's on the back burner, right? Uh, and that uh, it's it's details, but you know the devil is in the details, and then we can discuss it, Alyssa, afterwards. Okay, sounds great. So this point is is clear for me. I know what to do. Okay. Um, moving on to the next topic, CDCon. The CFP ends in February 18th. Please submit a talk. We, I'm hoping that we can get a lot of Jenkins or at least a couple of Jenkins um, talks there. Um, they talked about, the CDF talked about having the uh, CDF awards again this year. So last year, they had the Jenkins Awards where it had um, three categories, most valuable advocate, uh, security MVP, most valuable Jenkins contributor. And I've listed there who won last year. So this is just a heads up to, um, to seed the thought that, you know, who do we want to um, nominate for 2022? Mm-hmm. All right. And, and- then... I assume that they'll use the same nomination process they did before. I, I was a little intimidated by that process, but it was really quite powerful. The way you nominated is you submitted a pull request to a public Git repository with your description of why you thought that person was a good candidate. That was a lot of fun writing a public description of why I thought this candidate was exactly the right one. And, and there were many different proposals for for people. So if, if Alyssa, you have a chance to, to encourage them to use the same process they used last year, I, I found it a little daunting and yet really, really good to write that yeah. in public. <laughs> it, it let me highlight some, some things about, you know, when I write in public, I'm more sensitive, I'm more careful, I'm more, mm-hmm. more diligent. And therefore my nomination was a lot better than if I'd just written an, an offhand email saying, oh, I think so-and-so is really great. Yeah. In this case, I gave details, I provided links, you know, basically I was writing a blog post about my nominee because I was doing it in public. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. Um, so this year they have new people that's organizing the conference. Um, 
So I will ask them at our next meeting, what is the process for nomination? But I will bring up your, uh, I'll keep your, your, your points in mind. Yeah, just, just please, please one, tell them thank you very much for doing it last year and how impressed I was at how well it worked worked, especially after how intimidated I felt about writing a nomination publicly. I was writing something that everybody could read about these people, and therefore it had to be factual, all sorts of good. So thank yeah. you very much to them. Yeah. Great. Um, and then they will have an on-site contributor summit for Jenkins as well um, during the conference that is still in the plan. I need to fill out a form uh, for planning purposes for CDF. So I will work on that. But they did ask, uh, this is going to be interesting for us because given that this is our first year that Jenkins, well, at least since I've been around, that Jenkins is going to Texas. Mm -hmm. I know we have meetup groups there and I'm hoping that we can leverage uh, some of the people that, that loves Jenkins and, and have them attend the, the yeah. summit. Yeah. Um, but it'll be interesting to see the, the outcome of it. Right. Yeah. Agreed. And I've got some, I've got some candidates that I'm going to discuss further with. Um, I, I intend to be physically in Austin, so I'll be there to be part of it. We've got some, some great Jenkins contributors actually who live in Austin. Yeah. So it'll be, it's a, there's no reason we can't involve them and invite them to come join us. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, we're good. Moving on to the next topic. All right, She Code Africa. So She Code Africa, I'm feeling a little bit behind schedule. I've, I've done the, I've done the initial posting. Oh, here I can, I can do notes, Alyssa. Or, I've done the initial Fine. posting of project ideas to the community.jenkins.io site, and haven't seen a lot of traction yet. I think we can expect from four to six mentors is probably what we're going to see. And with four to six mentors, that means we likely won't want to take on more than four to six women from this She Code Africa initiative. Uh, mm -hmm. The project starts in, if I recall correctly, it starts in mid April and runs to through the month of May. Uh, and we've got to get, I've got to get a, a, paper, a form submitted to them with our ideas on it. Mm -hmm. Now, because of their time zone, uh, we may need to ask for more help from, from friends in Europe, sure, Europe and in the Eastern US because Africa time zone it is just not, not as conducive to West Coast yep. mentoring of, the, of North America or even to Asia mentoring. So... But I think we've got good project ideas. I think we've got good ways to approach it. And we learned many things from last year's experiences that we will apply in this year's mentoring. Mm -hmm. And that's really all that I had, Alyssa. Okay. Great. Unless there are questions, questions or concerns. No, I'm a little bit far from that uh, initiative, so <laughs> right. I expect and that you'll you'll shout. Yeah, you... let us know when you need <laughs> us. <laughs> right, and and John Mark, you're one that because of your being in European time zone, I may need you to assist with with acting as a mentor. That would take you up to one hour a week, uh, but but we'll we have to look and see. I would really prefer that it be others, even outside of the people who are attending here, that could act as mentors. If you want me to sell a project, just ask me. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, next topic is DevOps World CFP. Um, this is just an FYI. Really quickly, the discussion for the CFP program will start next week. Um, I will learn more about uh, the date, the location of, of, of this year's DevOps World. So more to come on that. But um, okay. planning but is... CF the CFP is starting next week, so we'll need to do some noise around. So, uh, sorry, the CFP discussion planning. Okay, so it's it, it's oh. not that the CFP is open. Right, okay. right. <laughs> it'll, it'll probably take us. Um, it'll probably take another. I would say let's just 
say a month before the CFP will open. I, I don't know yet. Okay. So um, that will be discussed during the planning process. Okay, got you. And you're monitoring that. So, but in the yes. meantime, I can, I can prepare and push other people to prepare. Right. So Jean-Marc, since this is going to happen during middle of, of, of Pacific time zone in Los Angeles here. So um, I'll, I'll take care of it and I will yeah. pull you in whenever I need you. Well, so, no, it's no, I'll, I'll prepare my homework and, and I have a few ideas. So it's more for that that I'm trying to, yeah. to know when, it, when the doors open. Right. Right. So, okay, Sounds no good. problem. But that means that once it's open, we'll have to, to, to tell the community. Yes. That it's open. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'll send out links and all. Okay. okay. So, all right. So, last item is the Jenkins online meetup. So, the next one that we will talk about is Google Summer of Code, more Google Summer of Code. The date is scheduled for February 23rd at 5 p.m. UTC. I've drafted up the abstract here. So, if you have a moment, please take a review. And then when you give me a thumbs up, then I will get it on the meetup page for us. Um, I also have a work in progress slide deck here as well. And this is still very uh, rough, needs a lot of updating. So okay. keep that in mind. Okay. Great. Good. So review it. And ideally we get the proposal out to do this one before end of this week so that early next week we can post it, start promoting it, et cetera. Yeah, give us some time to get some eyes on it. Great. Okay, so I will leave that as homework for us. And yeah. that's all I have on the agenda. Uh, Jenkins online meetup. We have two subjects, if I remember well, in the fridge or uh, that, that we need maybe to revive. So there is the uh, talk by um, Kosuke. Yeah. And the other one was about Gradle, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there. I think, yeah. But we go ahead with the with the GSOC one. This this one needs to be mm -hmm. at a particular date, right? Yeah. Yep, and I will work with Etienne Studer on the Gradle Enterprise one, and with Kosuke on the launchable. Okay, got you. Okay, All right. and I'll get the notes updated here and I will send it out on our discourse and yes, discourse and get it. Perfect. Thanks all. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.